Okay, we'll start by looking back. Did we see the um, the worst and the best of Yeovil Town last weekend in the um, the two-all draw with Dagenham? Yeah, you could say that. Um, obviously, we uh, started the game not so well, and uh, obviously went a couple goals down. But um, I think we showed great character and brought it back, and nearly went on to win the game. Mm. So you're two-nil down. You come on as a sub. Yeovil draw two-all. So um, do you take some of the credit for the um, the turnaround? Uh, I think I just obviously just went on to, to help the team, try and try and get us back in the game and just make an impact really. And hopefully they did that and we got two goals back. But um, yeah, like I said, we nearly went on to win it. I think we showed great character and the lads stuck together and we've got great team spirit. Yeah, the high standards. Most teams, if they come back from two goals down, will be patting themselves on the back. But I think you were looking at the, the negatives as well as the positives from last week. Yeah, I think we, we took we took everything from, from last week, going into the game on Saturday, uh, taking the negatives and the positives, but um, we know that we need to start start the game how we finished it, really. Hmm. And the positive is you're going into the game this weekend what, on the back of this, this three-game unbeaten run, so um, there, are, there's, there are pluses as well, aren't there? Yeah, like I said, there are, there's positives to take out the game and there's negatives, and I think... We, we even out. We we'll take both both sides of it, and um, look on to push on push on Saturday to get a result. Really. So ups and downs on Saturday. Is it fair to say there've been ups and downs for you since joining Yeovil Town in the summer? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, um, obviously before the, the sending off really stopped stopped me in my stride a little bit. But um, I think I'm just trying to get back on it now. Um, to keep myself fit when I uh, the games that I missed out missed out and just really want to get back into it now and start going again. Yeah, aside from the, the injustices perhaps of the, of the red card, I mean, have you learnt from having to sit on the sidelines? You know, a, a, a suspension can't be much fun for you. No, it was, it's, very, it's very frustrating um, when you're fit that you can't play. <laughs> so, uh, no, it, it, it definitely, you don't, want to, you don't want to lose your place in the team and you don't want to, it makes you think, I don't want to miss any more games sort of thing. So, so yeah, I've, it has helped me, um, and I'll move on now, and hopefully I won't miss any more games. Well, especially because you have got so many injuries as well. You were really needed as well. I mean, you, I know everyone's got a, an opinion on the injuries here. Are they starting to get a bit better now? Are things starting to improve for Paul Sturrock? I think I think we've got yeah a lot of players coming back. Like like you said, um, we've had a few, quite a few long term. Uh, we've got quite a few long term injuries, but um, the the short ones I think coming back now. We've got a few players back like. Lady's come back into the side, and we've had we've had other injuries that have come back in. So I'm sure they're not too far away, mm. and hopefully we can uh, have lots of players to choose from. And how much of a lift would it give you if you were named in the starting lineup on um, Saturday? Oh, uh, that um, that'd be I'd be massively. That's obviously the aim for me to start games, to play play football, and I just want to help the team. Um, Carry on this run, really, and get a, get a, get a win as well. If we can improve on that, that's the main thing. And I'm sure you're itching to score for Yeovil Town. Yeah, oh, itching to score. I think uh, <laughs> nearly nearly scored on uh, on Saturday when I come on. But um, yeah, and no, I'm just getting in, getting in the right positions, and it, it'll come. And on paper, Notts County away is an attractive game, isn't it? So I want to look forward to. I don't think they're in the greatest form, so you, you've got to go there with confidence. Yeah, like I said, we are going there with confidence. We have been um, unbeaten, like you said, a few games unbeaten. And we're looking to push on, really. Thank you. Cheers. I think, uh, Paul Sturrock said after the game on Saturday that he should have started the way that he finished the game. That must come as music to your ears, really, because obviously you were playing in the second half. Yeah, I think I think we we took um, we all knew that the way we finished the game was really strong, and and like I said, we didn't start the way we wanted to. So I think we just need to start games the way we finished it on Saturday. So. If we, could, we, we can do that on, sat, uh, on Saturday, I'm sure we'll get, get a good result. And is that a system you like to play in as well with two up top? as obviously you and Ryan on Saturday, but you know yourself and another striker in that sort of formation? I think, yeah, we could play, we could play a number of, number of roles. Um, like you've seen through the season, we've played um, different formations and I think we can adapt to that well. So um, of whatever formation or whatever the manager wants to play, I think we can, we've shown that we can adapt to it. And uh, is a task for you now then get, making sure you cement that starting 11 place like you had before the red card? Yeah, exactly that. Um, I just want to try and uh, do my best and show, show what I can do and try and cement that place in the team really.